New Year sales in Japan mean lucky bag time, so why don't I bring you a mixed bag of sumo stories from the Japanese press? We start with the man at the center of nearly everything, Haku Hall, who appears further emboldened post title triumph in Fukuoka. He now claims he can fight on well past the 2020 Olympics and has written down a goal of at least seven more titles, which would take his overall total to 50. However, given his long list of injuries, he urges caution against planning too far ahead, insisting that reaching 45 titles this year would be joy enough, and he cannot really speculate beyond that. As you can imagine, Hakuho's face slapping, elbow smashing antics in Fukuoka attracted a fair share of criticism. Commenting on his brutal treatment of Endo, NHK analyst Mainomi questioned whether he'd thrown all decency to the wind. While Hidenori Yano claimed to speak on behalf of the whole Yokozuna Council when asserting it was ugly to watch. However, Sumo media chief Shibatayama stomped to Hakuho's defense, praising his fighting spirit, while a prominent magazine columnist told his critics on Facebook in English to F off and urged a Twitter uprising against them. Goodness me, you see why I label him divisive. The Yokozuna himself insisted his tachi ai moves are not illegal. Leading sumo technical expert Professor Masasuke Kuamori would agree with him so long as the elbow shot is modified to a forearm smash to the chest. The Yokozuna also baited his detractors by repeating his claim from July that he doesn't get enough credit. But when you've been at the very top for 13 years, I guess it's normal you don't get praised for winning titles anymore, he snapped. Happy New Year, everyone! While Hakuho's reviews are mixed, stablemate Enho continues to enjoy complete adulation, receiving yet another ceremonial apron on Christmas Day. The little man pinpointed his final day defeat to Shohozan in May as the turning point of his career thus far. The pain of missing out on eight wins here spurred him on to three successive winning scores and a place at Maegashira 5 West for January. He looks on course for his first competitive meetings with elite Sanyaku members and says his next aim is to reach the Sanyaku ranks himself. Meanwhile, Yokozuna Kakuryu has struggled to train of late due to a throat infection, lacking even the energy to beat up Yutakayama and Shodai at Tokitsukaze stable last week. He did, however, find enough of his voice to coach new stablemate Kiribayama in the art of the Tachi Ai. Kiribayama is the only new face in Division 1 this time, the first such promotion his Michinoku stable has celebrated since the 2000s. Kakuryu has also been busy as chairman of the Wrestlers Committee, voicing his concerns about the logistical arrangements for winter tours. An influenza outbreak this time saw victims run into double figures, and Takagenji allegedly allowed to compete while suffering. Wrestlers currently receive their winter flu jabs at the year end. Kakuryu is urgently recommending that they are administered before the winter tour begins. Confusion remains as to whether demoted Ozeki Takayasu was one of the influenza victims. His family insist on social media that he was. The man himself told Sanke Sports newspaper he most definitely wasn't. We understand he might have had a migraine, though. I didn't even catch a cold and I'm bouncing with energy, he declared, and backed up his words with a much improved performance against coach Araiso, winning five of their 12 practice bouts. Journalists say he's leaner and faster. He maintains he's going for the title this time, and Kisena Sato says he's never been more determined to help him win it. Let's see if he can celebrate his engagement in style. Asano Yama is another man with big ambitions. He wants to attain Ozeki before his stablemaster retires from sumo later this year. 2019 almost went too well for me, and I have to keep my feet on the ground. The new Sekiwake said ahead of a homeward trip to Toyama for New Year's Eve. I want to train yet harder and see how far I can go in 2020. Hakuho, for the record, is now laying claim to having discovered Asanayama's greatness a year before everybody else. 
Takakesho reportedly came down with fever last week. In fact, so many of his stablemates did likewise that their final training session was actually called off. He did appear on an NHK TV show with Mainomi and Kitano Fuji, during which the former suggested he add a frontal belt grip to his repertoire. A bewildered Takakesho replied that he'd never gone for one of those in his life, and Kitano Fuji then comforted him by saying, Don't worry, with your power, it's not impossible you can make Yokozuna by thrusting alone. His best friend, Dai Eisho, is celebrating a career high rank of Komusubi West this January. I've been gunning for this ever since making the top division, he revealed. I feel I've gotten stronger and am now able to dictate tournament matches as I do on the practice Tokyo. Fellow Saitama Sakai graduate Goedo is still to resume full training following his withdrawal from Fukuoka due to left leg ligament damage, but vows to be fighting fit for next Monday's Yokozuna Council practice. As you know, we've had three Ozeki demotions in successive tournaments. Goedo is determined not to make that four. I want to feel the weight of my rank and carry out the required responsibility, he vowed. Finally, the latest on two Mongolians who've been great friends ever since their time at Johoku High School, Teru no Fuji and Ichinojo. Teru, who's back in Division 2 for the first time since 2018, caned stablemate Takara Fuji 8 nil in recent training and suggested he was prepared to work three or four times as hard as anyone else to return to Division 1. And a glum-faced Ichi, lamenting his loss of 24 kilos of bulk and muscle, has returned to training against his stable's lower rankers, registering 46 wins from 47.